the replacement, resurfacing, restriping of the outdoor tennis courts, two new youth playgrounds with a rock climbing theme, soft surfacing materials to enhance the safety and play experience of our children, and a brand new building incorporating multi-purpose rooms, classrooms, and a dance studio. And while our children stay healthy, the YMCA works on helping families stay strong. Last year, the YMCA dedicated 110 to 114 Madison Avenue to George and Madeline Burry. For you long timers, you know that they were the founders of the Burry Biscuit Company here in our city. And if you lived in North Elizabeth, you could always know it was raining because you could smell the cookies when the clouds were low. The, the houses on Madison Avenue are part of the YMCA's traditional housing program for homeless women and children. 16 units, each with a kitchen and bathroom, serving 45 people, filling a significant need in our community. Families receive support services, workforce development, instruction about life skills, and counseling for substance abuse and mental health. The YMCA also dedicated a new 11,000 square foot child care center right on our corner over here, consisting of six classrooms servicing 105 children. The city of Elizabeth is now known as a center of health care excellence thanks to the many advances that are being made at Trinitas Hospital. Marking its one year anniversary, the Comprehensive Cancer Center has successfully recruited top physicians, opened a satellite facility, implemented many new services, realizing high patient satisfaction. This center remains the only facility in the state to provide patients with the state-of-the-art Trilogy Linear Accelerator. Trinitas now provides elective angioplasty services, continues to lead the region in the provision of minimally invasive surgical procedures, and was named Outstanding Employer by the New Jersey Business and Industry Association and selected as one of the best places to work in New Jersey. Another facility that continues to provide assistance to patients and their families is the Center for Hope Hospice and Palliative Care. Providing physical and emotional support, the Theo House became the first licensed residential hospice facility in the state, followed by the Father Hudson House, which offers care and comfort to hundreds of patients and their families. And as the only city in the state with two freestanding residential hospice locations, we stand committed to the compassionate care of our residents. With magnificent facilities, economic stability, and ideal location, families are investing in our city. The Elizabeth Home Improvement Program has increased financial assistance to first-time home buyers in an effort to close financial gaps. $45,000. 6% of the purchase price for down payment and closing costs and a $10,000 repair grant. More than 430 potential homeowners attended informational, bilingual, and the sixth annual housing fair while residents received free information on credit reports, information on preventing lead poisoning, brochures and helpful kits from more than 18 vendors, and real estate closing advice. EHIP provided oversight for the completion of seven rental projects, creating 34 new affordable rental units and 11 single room units. Under construction, 12 projects will create 96 residential units and three commercial spaces. And under review, 10 additional projects with 35 units. EHIP has completed more than $35 million in rental housing projects and 176 affordable residential rental units. As we continue our positive transformation, we continue building for the future. Our transportation system is vital to the growth and the success of the future developments. This year, the Midtown train station will receive a much needed facelift. Paint on exterior elevations, platforms, shelters, light poles, reconstructed stairs, additional lighting, bathroom and ticket window renovations, and new air conditioning. One block away, many of you can notice, land has been cleared for Union County College's new $47 million Elizabeth campus expansion. The 132,000 square foot, five-story facility will include a two-story atrium, 
library and cafeteria, 150 seat lecture hall, multi-purpose classrooms, and a nursing school complete with a simulated patient evaluation and treatment area. This educational complex is part of Union County College's focus to ensure that they are equipped to prepare students for the intellectual and technological demands of the 21st century. Technologically, we are advancing to new levels, providing greater service to our residents, our merchants, and our visitors. This month, we will go live with our Wi-Fi pilot program. From City Hall, to the County Courthouse, to the Midtown train station, there will be access to the internet and our award-winning bilingual website, email, important documents, picture files, and unlimited information at your fingertips. Like major cities around the world, we're going to bring Wi-Fi home to our residents, our businesses, and the millions of visitors to our city. If successful, we will expand the program and use the technology to assist our emergency personnel. Wireless access can provide real data, real time, giving first responders the advantage while attending to an emergency. Wireless cameras in business can help deter crime, provide first responders live images in the event of an, in the event of an emergency. Visitors will be able to experience our city in a new cyber way. With a tourist-friendly application, businesses can access information about the city, restaurants, historic sites, local performances and events, and even a map for the city and directions, all while waiting for your luggage at the airport or on a cab to your hotel. Our objective is to offer a competitive wireless program to all our residents. As we expand throughout the city, we will allow service providers to enhance the network, generating new revenue, as well as improving technology for businesses and future industry. It is also places us in an economically and socially advantageous position, empowering our residents and thinking creatively with technology. From the information superhighway to our own vehicular highways, the new $75 million one and nine viaduct construction project is scheduled to be completed this year. Three 12 foot wide lanes in both directions, 12 foot shoulders for emergency and disabled vehicles, a new landscaped area committed to open space, new decorative lighting, brick pavers, granite blocks, beautiful landscaping, and additional municipal parking for Midtown. And in addition, the viaduct construction, the Department of Transportation has agreed to finance a new $16 million state-of-the-art public works facility located on Atlantic Street. This building includes a salt silo, new offices, new carpentry and sign shop, and a new mechanics garage. The Magnolia Street Bridge is also under construction. $6.6 million project will include six-foot sidewalks, 15-foot lanes, new lighting, and decorative design and landscaping. And this year, the City Council and I have committed to doing even more, and we are allocating $12 million for one of the most aggressive repaving schedules to date. William Jennings Bryant once said, destiny is a matter of choice. It is not a thing to be waited for, it is a thing to be achieved. From the very beginning, we knew our city's destiny. Hard work, strong partnerships, life-changing initiatives, and our never-ending commitment to improving every single neighborhood. Building upon our focused vision, strong economic base, and solid foundations, we have led our city through an incredible transformation, making us one of the greatest cities in the state. Our senior facilities 
have transformed themselves into centers of activities. Our recreational complexes into family centers. Our emergency services into state-of-the-art response units. Our open space into recreational havens. Our roadways into safe and improved passageways. Our business districts into centers of economic success. And our neighborhoods into centers of urban brilliance. Our city, our home, our wonderfully diverse community is getting better every day. Through embracing challenges and opportunities, the implementation of innovative technology, and the creation of a competitive workforce, our exciting transformation continues. Hard work and dedication have enabled exciting things to happen throughout our city, but great things remain on our horizon. Thank you, and may God continue to bless you, your families, and the city of Elizabeth.